speaking of things that people can look at uh, in their walkthroughs, investors, potential purchasers, another one is water pressure, right? So, and the way we typically test that, just a simple functional flow test, is to go to uh, especially an upper floor, right? Because we're fighting the head pressure, water has to go up. They work hard to get to the top floor, um, go up and operate multiple um, hot water fixtures because typically the hot water piping is more subject to that mineral accumulation that results in reduced flow. I know why that would be. Why would that be? This is an easy way to remember it. Uh huh. Do you? Be, I, because the minerals come out of solution easier in hot water, I believe. Oh, right? interesting. I th also thought it's it's sitting there in the hot water heater uh -huh. and just kind of you're heating it up. You're just you're doing something to it where now minerals are kind of collect in the hot water heater and you're you're going to be over time adding. So you have the regular amount of minerals plus now you're as your hot water heater tank gets old, you're adding that's to it. That's certainly possible. That's yeah. what I always uh -huh. assumed because right. that's where. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want uh, any for a funny inspection thing, go YouTube people. What, uh -huh. uh, the hot water heater is cut open, what they look like, the tanks. Yeah, you know, it's right. uh, once you've had the thing for a while, it's like a half minerals built up or yeah, you know, on quarter. the bottom. Yeah, right. Anyways, so yeah, but you want to go to the top of the building and then run multiple yeah, hot so water Yeah, so what I'll do is that the, water. the largest demand on hot water flow is typically the bathtub. So... Uh, first I'll go to the sink, turn the hot water on at the sink, then flush the toilet and then open the, uh, bathtub hot water faucet. And then while I'm looking at the sink hot water, I'll throttle on and off okay. the bathtub hot water and see how much fluctuation there is in that sink hot water. And that's typically a pretty good indicator of how much time we have left on the need to replace the old galvanized pipe. Or perhaps there could be some other issues too, right? There could be clogged aerators. There could be an undersized or uh, uh, leaking uh, water service, an old lead service. So yeah, it's you can't typically, just by that simple functional flow test, you get a feel for the general water pressure in the building, but you can't usually pinpoint the exact cause. Right, but you know if you have something, an issue or not, potentially just on right. an initial walkthrough. Right. And then your observations in the basement, if you find other, or behind the uh, vanity cabinets in the bathrooms, if you see old galvanized piping, then you're pretty sure what the deal is. Right? Yeah, and that's something too that over time I've learned to look for just on the initial tour, mm -hmm. where a lot of these deals again the, the the person selling it they're not there's no point honestly for them to study up on every little detail of the building they're not going to be the owner their job is just to get the highest price right so they're not they're not checking uh what the pipes are made out of and then even if you see a uh you know a copper pipe let's say out of that vanity mm -hmm. it doesn't mean there's copper throughout the whole building right. you know maybe that's just they re renovated the bathroom and it ran and they tied into to the, the wall yeah to right. the galvanized riser in the wall and right. then but you can over time you learn where to figure that all out now you can find if yeah. there's a basement what the riser is by looking in the ceiling if it's open right and go okay what what do we got here we have and a shine yeah. your flashlight up the plumbing chest right yeah right. exactly so you look in the ceiling you go oh, okay right. we have a galvanized pipe and right. galvanized stainless steel or, so, or just regular steel it's yeah. regular steel coated in zinc and so that's you know so that looks like what you would think a silver kind of color and then over time you know a little dullish yeah, yeah, yeah. but in terms of the mm -hmm. types and then uh you know because then it went from at least in the midwest you know really or in the chicago area it started out where it's uh you know in most buildings you'll see it's galvanized or copper there's not in a lot of other areas we've looked at stuff, there were a lot of other intermediary products they let you use. Polybutylene and PEX now, right? Yeah, but none of that stuff's been allowed in Chicago. C so it's a PVC. Yeah, so it's simple. Yeah, I was just at my right. sister's house in Austin and they have um their plumbing was a clear uh a clear plastic. A, like a bendable? I guess I didn't I was I was just looking at it and it's, I it's didn't try be bending PEX it. Then. But I, I've seen PEX, but it's usually blue, blue or is been my red. experience. Right. Yeah. But I've it's also were, clear. Yeah. Yeah. So in in at this house, this is in Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. and they were yeah, they went with a clear. Yeah. It actually looked pretty nice compared to having like a blue thing hanging out the wall. So I and it's much more efficient, great water flow, right? There's a lot of positives to it. Yeah. So at least, and so if you're looking at it, you you want to understand the difference where, you know, if you see a galvanized pipe, over time, those rust from the inside and your water pressure starts dropping. 
So if you see that and let's say it's a renovation project you're going to take on, you're not going to be able to just go, uh, especially if your water pressure is bad. Okay. I'll just redo the kitchen only like right. you really are signing up. Now you got to redo all the plumbing as well. Right. So it's important to check that. And I mean, the easiest place to check to start is under the sinks. Yeah. Cause then there's going to be a pipe running out, uh, into from the, the sink through the back of the cabinet. Yeah. In the, right. in the bathroom or the kitchen out into the wall. Right. So that's the easiest place to catch it. A lot of times it's dark and there's a lot of stuff in these cabinets because right. people live there. So what I do is I turn my phone to where it's the flash is forced to on. Uh -huh. Then I take a picture of it and then I look at the picture. It's actually easier than yeah. shining your flashlight right. or your phone as a flashlight and then moving the toilet paper out of the way. Trying to then. see it. Yeah, or even use, it's harder to see. Whereas, I mean, I got the, I don't know what iPhone number we're on now, but I have the most recent one, 13 or something. Yeah. But it's, um, takes great pictures. Why bother putting your head in the cabinet? You can right. just reach your arm in right. and take a much more clear picture. Sure. Plus, when you forget in two weeks anyways, what the heck you saw, you can mm -hmm. just look at the pictures. Right. So, yeah, that's something I always check. Uh, even if it's not a renovation deal, I want to know what we're getting ourselves into. Thanks for joining us on the Rise and Invest podcast. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube or wherever you enjoy your podcasts. If you'd like to dive even deeper into real estate investing, check out our company's website, riseinvest.com. If you are an accredited investor, you can get started today as a passive investor in our multifamily investment opportunities by hitting the Invest Now button on our website. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of Drew Brenneman and guests as of the date of recording and do not purport to reflect the views or opinions of Rise Invest Holdings LLC and its subsidiaries. The views and opinions are provided for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon or deemed as investment or tax advice or an offer to buy or sell securities and the speaker cannot be held responsible for any direct or incidental loss incurred by applying any of the information offered.